To install SheetCam, go to SheetCam.com. Once there, click on the Downloads button and download the latest stable version. Once downloaded, run the installer. This is the first screen you'll see. Click Next. This is the default directory it'll be installed in. Click Install. Check Create a Desktop Shortcut. Uncheck Run Sheet Cam TNG. We don't want to run it just yet. That completes the installation. Next, we'll set up Sheet Cam. Next, we need to install the Sheet Cam Post Processor files. You can find your post files on the CNC machine in My Documents in a folder called TrueCut Setup Master. Inside this folder, you'll find a folder called Sheet Cam Posts. Open that folder, and there are two files a post file with a, with a .sc post extension and a tools database file with a .tools extension. Copy both of these files to a flash drive. In the same TrueCut Setup Master folder, there's a folder called Licenses. Inside this folder are your Mach 3 and your Sheet Cam licenses. The Sheet Cam license is the one with the CAM LIC CAM LICE extension. Copy this file to the same flash drive. Once you have the post files copied to a flash drive, insert that flash drive into the computer that you're trying to install Sheet Cam on. Copy the files from the flash drive to the PC. Put them in a folder or in a place on the PC where you can find them. Next, go to your C drive. Find the Program Files or Program Files x86 folder. If you're on a 64-bit machine, it'll be uh, Program Files x86. 32-bit machines, it'll be in Program Files. Go into the Program Files folder. Navigate down until you find SheetCam TNG. Open the SheetCam TNG folder. Inside there you'll find a folder called Posts. Open the Post Posts folder. This is where your SheetCam Posts go. If there are a lot of files inside this folder, go ahead and delete them all. After deleting those files, find the post folder that you copied from the flash drive over to your PC and paste it into this folder. Go ahead and find the icon on your desktop that was created when SheetCam was installed and open SheetCam. First thing we're going to do is set the machine options. So go to Options, Machine, select Post Processor. The output file units should be set to inch. Z0 should be set to top of work. Output folder can be either of these, but we suggest using always use this folder and create a folder on your desktop. That way you always know where your G-code folders will be going. Output file extension should be TAP. Post processor should be set to the post processor that you previously installed into the post folder. Next go to working envelope. This is where you set your machine size. Here we have it set to 12 by 5 or 5 by 12 machine. If you have a 4 by 8 machine it would be set to 96 by 48. A 5x10 machine would be 120 by 60. Go ahead and click on Table Display and set that to the same size. Your origin on both Working Envelope and Table Display should be set to Lower Left. Select the Lower Left Radio button. 
Next go to machine type. Make sure that jet cutting is selected. Click OK. All sheet cam tools are held in the tools palette. To load the tools palette, first click the new tool icon. If automatically generate name is checked, uncheck it. Click OK. Next go to file, open tool set. A file dialog box opens. Navigate to the .tools file that you saved from, from your flash drive. Double click on the .tools file. This loads the tool database into the tools palette. Next, go file, save default tool set. It's asking if we, we're sure we want to overwrite the existing tool set, click yes. Setting up the user interface is important for proper workflow. We recommend having the layers palette open as well as the code editor. When SheetCam installs, the layers palette and the code editor are not displayed. To display these two items, click on view at the top of the screen and put a check mark beside layer tool and code editor. Also uncheck show true width. All others should be checked. If you followed this video carefully, you successfully set up SheetCam. In future videos, we'll import drawings and create toolpaths.